S. Sack. Noun. 1. A large bag made out of a rough material. 2. The loss of your job. My boss said my work was poor, so I got the sack. Sad. Adjective. Sadder. Saddest. Feeling unhappy. Safe. Adjective. Not in danger. Safe. Noun. A strong locked box for keeping valuable things secure. Said. See say. I said go. Sail. Noun. Piece of cloth fixed to the mast of a boat so that it catches the wind and moves the boat through the water. Sail. Verb. 1. To travel on water. 2. To control a boat on water. Sailor. Noun. Someone who works on a boat as a member of the crew. Salad. Noun. Raw vegetables or fruit mixed together and eaten with other foods as part of a meal. Salt. Noun. Tiny white grains that you put on your food to flavor it. Same. One. Exactly like something else. The twins wore the same clothes. Two. Not changed. She was just the same as I remembered her. Three. Always only one thing or person. We go to the same school. Sand. Noun. Tiny grains of stone, such as you find on the beach or in the desert. Sandals. Plural noun. Open shoes for wearing in the summer with straps that go over the top of your feet. Sandwich. Noun. Two slices of bread with a filling in between them. Sang. See sing. We sang. Carols. Sank. See sink. The ship sank. Sat. See sit. The children sat still. Satchel. Noun. A bag with a shoulder strap that you carry your school books in. Satellite. Noun. 1. A man-made device sent into space to collect signals which it sends back to Earth. Satellite dish. Noun. Large round metal object fixed to buildings to collect television signals which are sent using satellites in space. Saturday. Noun. The day of the week that comes after Friday and before Sunday. Sauce. Noun. A thick liquid that you put on your food to flavor it. Saucepan. Noun. A pan with a lid and a handle that you use to cook food in. Saucer. Noun. A small dish on which you put a cup. Sausage. Noun. A thin tube of skin filled with a mixture of meat, cereal, spices, etc. Save. Verb. Saving. Saved. 1. To rescue from danger. 2. To keep something so that you can use it later. 3. To stop wasting something. 4. To stop a ball from going into a goal. Saw. Noun. A tool with a zigzag blade that you use to cut things like wood. Saw. See, see. Laura saw her sister coming t towards her. Say, verb, said, one to speak, two to give your opinion, scales, plural noun, a weighing machine, scare, verb, scaring, scared, to frighten, scarf, noun, plural scarves or scarfs, a length of cloth you wear around your neck, usually to keep warm, School, noun, a place where children go to learn. Science, noun, the study of how natural things behave and the knowledge that we have about them. Scissors, plural noun, a pair of hinged blades that you use to cut things with. Scooter, noun, one, a child's toy with a handle, two wheels and a platform for the feet. 2. A kind of motorcycle. Score. Noun. The number of points, goals, etc. Made in a game. The scores showed that we were going to win the match. Square.
scratch. Noun, a mark or wound made by scratching. Scratch, verb, one, to damage a surface with something sharp and rough. Our cat is always scratching furniture with his claws. Two, to rub your skin to stop it itching. Jamie scratched his arm. Scream, verb, to give a loud, high-pitched cry. We all screamed with excitement on the roller coaster ride. Screen, noun, one, a flat surface on which films are shown. Two, the front surface of a television, computer, monitor, etc. Three, a frame which protects people from heat and cold or hides something from view. Screw, noun, piece of metal like a nail but with a thread around it. It is put into hard surfaces with a screwdriver. Did you know? Sandwich. The name of this snack comes from the 18th century John Montagu, 4th Earl of Sandwich. He was very fond of gambling and it is said that some of his games lasted as long as two days non-stop. Rather than interrupt the game and leave the table to eat food, he ordered his servant to bring him two slices of bread with layers of cold beef between them. And so this convenient snack came to be associated with his name. Did you know scissors? The word scissors is a plural noun. The same form of the word is used for the singular and plural. We do not say one scissor. Other plural nouns include binoculars, dregs, jeans, remains, sunglasses, and trousers. Screwdriver. Noun. A tool used for turning screws. C. Noun. The salt water that covers most of the Earth's surface. A calm sea. Seal. Noun. One. A sea cre creature that eats fish and swims by using flippers. Two. A mop. Often made from wax that is fixed to important things to show that they are genuine. Seal. Verb. One. To put a seal on something. Two. To fasten something firmly. 3. To make something airtight. Search. Verb. To look for. To try to find. Search party. Seaside. Noun. The place next to the sea, especially where people go for their holidays. Season. Noun. 1. One of the four parts into which the year is divided. Spring, sum, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. 2. A time in the year of a particular activity. The football season. Seat. Now, something on which you sit. Second. Adjective. Being the one after the first. Second. Second. Now. 1. A length of time. There are 60 seconds in one minute. 2. A brief moment. Secret. Noun. Something that only a few people know. C. Verb. Saw. Seen. 1. To look at something through your eyes. I could see the hills in the distance. 2. To understand. I see what you mean. 3. To meet or visit. I went to see my friend. Seed, noun, the part of a plant from which a new one grows. Seen, verb, to appear to be. Seen, cc. Have you seen this video? Seesaw, noun, a plank balanced so that when children sit on either end, one end goes up as the other comes down. Selfish, adjective. Not caring about others, thinking only of yourself. Sell, verb, sold, to part with things in return for money. She sold her house. Cello tape, noun, trademark, sticky tape on a wall. 
semicircle, noun, a half circle, we stood in a semicircle, semicolon, noun, the punctuation mark is called a semicolon, it is used to join two parts of a sentence and is used instead of and, but, or another conjunction. For example, in the sentence, I am very tired, I am also hungry, the semicolon is used instead of and. Send, verb, sent, to cause or order someone or something to go or be taken somewhere. James was sent to the head teacher's office. Sensible, adjective, having the ability to make good decisions. Sent, see send, I've sent her a birthday card. September, now, the ninth month of the year, after August and before October. Set, now, a collection of things, a set of encyclopedias. Set, verb, setting, set. One, to put into a position. Two, to give someone work to do. What homework has been sent? Three, to become hard. The concrete set quickly in the warm sun. Four, to go down below the horizon. The sun sets earlier in the winter. Five, to prepare a table for a meal. Seven, the number seven. Seventeen, the number seventeen. Seventy, the number seventy. So, verb, sewed, soon, or sewed to stitch material together with a needle and thread through a dress. Soon, see soon. I've soon on a new button. Shade, noun, one, area sheltered from the sun or strong light. Stand in the shade. Two, something that keeps out light or makes it less bright. A lampshade. Three, a slightly different depth of color, a lighter shade of blue. Shadow, noun, one, an area of shade. Two, the dark shape cast by an object where it blocks out the light. Shake, verb, shaking, shook, shaken. One, to move something up and down and from side to side very quickly. Two, to take someone by the right hand as a sign of greeting or agreement. Three, to shiver, shaken, see shake. After you've shaken the bottle, pour the milk. Shawl, to intend to happen, to happen in the future, I shall be on holiday next week. Shallow, adjective, not deep. Shampoo, noun, special soap to wash your hair with. Shan't, shall not, we shan't be coming to the party. Shape, noun, the form that something has, an outline. Share, noun, a part of or proportion of something. There were many guests at the birthday party, but we all had a share of the cake. Share. Verb, sharing, shared. One, to use or do something with others. The friends shared a flat. Two, to divide. She shared her sandwiches with her friend. Did you know sentence? A sentence is a group of words starting with a capital letter and ending with a full stop, question mark, or exclamation mark. The following are all examples of sentences. I like sweets. Where's your school? Go away. Most sentences have a verb. Below is an ex example of two sentences without verbs. Yes, for heaven's sake. Did you know seven? The seven wonders of the world were seven outstanding man-made objects that were built in ancient times. Only one of these ancient wonders, the pyramids, exists today. 
there are still about 80 pyramids in Egypt. The Great Pyramid at Giza is 137 meters high. It would have taken thousands of slaves to build it. Shark. Noun. A dangerous fish with sharp teeth. Sharp. Adjective. 1. Having a fine point or di a thin cutting edge. Two, 2. Thinking quickly. Shave. Verb. Shaving. Shaved. To make your skin smooth by cutting off the hairs with a razor. He. Her. Herself. That woman. Girl or female animal. He'd. She had. She would. He'd have come if she could. He'll. She will. He'll be here soon. She's. She is. She has. She's a very nice girl. Shed. Noun. A small wooden building for storing things in. Sheep. Noun. Full sheep. A farm animal kept for its wool and meat. Sheet. Noun. One, large piece of cloth for covering a bed. Two, a single piece of paper. Shelf, noun, plural shelves, a length of board fixed to a wall or fitted in a, a cupboard on which you put things. Shell, noun, the hard outside part of an egg, nut, snail, etc. Shelves, see shelf. Shine, verb, shining, shone, or shined, to give a bright light. Shiny, adjective, shinier, shiniest, giving a bright light. Ship, noun, a large boat. Shirt, noun, a piece of light clothing worn on the upper part of the body that has sleeves and the collar. A red cotton shirt. Shiver. Verb. To shake often from fear or the cold. Shoe. Noun. Something that you wear over socks or tights to cover your foot. Shown. See shine. The sun shone brightly yesterday. Shook. See shake. The wind shook the windows. Shoot. Verb. Shot. One. To fire a weapon at and hit a target. Two. To kick or throw a ball to score in a game. Three. To take a photograph or make a film. Shop. Noun. Somewhere goods are sold. Shore. Noun. The land by the edge of the sea or lake. Short. Adjective. One. Not long, a short distance. Two, not tall, a short man. Three, lasting only a little time, a short break. Shorts, plural noun, short trousers, running shorts. Shot, see shoot, the president was shot. Should, ought to, you should be more polite. Shoulder, noun. The part of your body at either side of your neck where your arms join it. Shouldn't. Should not. You shouldn't have been so naughty. Shout. Verb. To call out loudly. The player shouted at the referee. Show. Noun. One. A performance or entertainment. Two. A collection of things for people to look at. A fine show of roses. Show. Verb. Showed. Shown. One. To cause something to be seen. Two. To go with to guide. Show me the way. Three. To explain. I'll show you how to do it. Shower. Noun. One. A brief fall of rain. Two. A water spring device that you stand under to wash your body. Shown. See show. I was shown how to walk out the sums. Shrink. See shrink. The clothes shrank in the rain. 
shrimp noun a small sea creature shrink verb shrank shrunk to get smaller shrunk see shrink my favorite jumper has shrunk in the washing machine shut verb shutting shut to close shy adjective nervous and uncomfortable in the company of others sick adjective poorly not well side noun one one of the flat surfaces of something such as a box two not the front or the back three a sports team sight noun one the ability to see two something that is seen three a place or view that is worth seeing especially for tourists sign noun one an object or symbol that conveys a meaning two a notice giving information directions etc follow the signs silence now quietness the absence of sound silk now a very fine thread used to make a soft delicate cloth silly adjective silly silliest foolish not sensible silver now one a precious metal two the color of this since one after the time when we haven't seen them since they moved two because i must go since it's so late sing verb sang sung to make music with your voice he sings tunefully sink now a basin with taps and the plug hole for washing dishes clothes etc sink verb sank sunk to go down below a surface the boat sank without trace did you know singular the singular is the form of a word that you use when you want to talk about one person or thing this is in contrast to plural which refers to two or more book is singular books is plural child is singular children is plural sip verb sipping sipped to drink by taking only tiny amounts into your mouth at a time sister now a girl or woman who has the same parents as you sit verb sitting sat to be in a position where your bottom is on a seat sitting room noun room in the home to sit and relax in 6 the number 6 16 the number 16 60 the number 60 size noun one how big something is two a particular measurement he asked for a dress in size 12 skate now one a boot or shoe with a blade fitted to the underneath so that you can move on ice two a roller skate skate verb skating skated to move on ice with skates skateboard now a board with roller skate wheels fitted to the underneath skeleton now the framework of bones in your body ski verb to move on snow skin now one the outer layer of your body two outer covering of a fruit or vegetable skip verb skipping skipped one to jump with light quick steps two to jump over a rope with, which swings over your head and under your feet skirt now a piece of woman's clothing that hangs down from the waist sky now plural skies the space around the earth skyscraper 
Noun, a very tall building in a city. Sledge, noun, a vehicle for moving over snow and ice. Sleep, verb, slept, to rest in bed with your eyes closed and your mind and body in an unconscious state, not to be awake. Sleet, noun, partly frozen rain. Sleeve, noun, the part of a garment covering the arm. Slept, see sleep. I slept for seven hours last night. Slice, noun, thin piece of food cut from something larger. Slid, see slide, they slid on the ice. Slide, noun, one, something with a slippery surface down which you can slide. Two, a picture that can be projected onto a screen. Three, a clip goes where to keep the hair tidy. Slide, verb, sliding, slid, to move smoothly over a surface. Slip, verb, slipping, slipped. 1. To slide and lose your balance. 2. To make a mistake. Slipper. Noun. A light hue to wear indoors. Slippery. Adjective. Smooth, wet, or greasy and difficult to hold or walk on. Slow. Adjective. 1. Taking a long time. Not fast. 2. Behind the right time. My watch is slow. 3. Not quick to understand. Slug. Noun. A creature like a snail but with no shell. Small. Adjective. Little. Not big. Smash. Verb. To break, break into pieces. Smell. Noun. The effect of your something on your nose. Smell. Verb. Smelt or smelled to have a particular smell that you can sense. Smelt or smelled. See smell. I smelled something burning. Smile. Verb. Smiling. Smiled. To look pleased and happy, often with your mouth turned up at the corners. Smoke. Noun. The cloudy gas that is produced when something burns. Smoke. Verb, smoking, smoked. To suck tobacco smoke from a cigarette, cigar or pipe into your mouth and let it out again. Smooth, adjective, having an even surface, not rough. Snack, noun, a light meal. Snail, noun, a small creature with a shell on its back. Snake, noun, a long creature with no legs. Sneeze, verb, sneezing, sneezed. To suddenly and noisily let air out of your nose and mouth is when you have a cold. Snooker, noun, game in which you use a long stick to hit colored balls into pockets at the sides of a large table. Snore, verb, snoring, snored. To breathe noisily through your nose and mouth when you are asleep. Snow. Noun. Flakes of frozen water that fall from the sky in cold weather. Snowflake. Noun. One of the soft, white bits of frozen water that fall as snow. So. One. In the way described, the house was empty and stayed so, so for some years. Two. Therefore, in order that it was cold, so I lit the fire. Did you know? Small. Here is a list of adjectives that are used to show how small or big something is. How many of them do you know? Microscopic. Miniature. Minute. Tiny. Little. Small. Big. Large. Great. Colossal. Enormous. Giant, gigantic, huge, immense, mammoth, massive, vast. Soap, noun, a substance that is used with water for washing. Sock, 
Now, a piece of clothing that covers your foot and the bottom of your leg and is worn inside shoes. Socket. Now, a hole into which something else fits. Sofa. Now, a comfortable seat for two or more people with a back and arms. A settee. Soft. Objective. One. Not hard. Two. Smooth and nice to touch. Three. Gentle. Soil. Now, the top layer of the ground in which plants grow. Sold. See sell. We sold the car for 500 pounds. Soldier. Now, someone whose job is to fight in an army. Solid. Objective. One. Having a firm shape. Not liquid or gas. Two. Not hollow inside. Three. Of the same material all the way through. Solid gold. Someone. A few, but not all. Two. Used when you are not being exact about what you are referring to. At some point, we will have to talk about this. Something. A thing that is not named anything. Sometimes. Now and then. Son. Now. Someone's male child. Song. Now. Word sung to music. Soon. In a short time. Sore. Objective. Painful. Aching. Sore feet. Sorry. Objective. Sorrier. Sorriest. Feeling sad wanting to apologize for something you have said or done. I'm so sorry. Sort. Now, a group of things or people of a particular type. Sort. Verb. To arrange things in order. Sound. Now, anything that you hear. Soup. Now, a liquid food made by boiling meat, vegetables, etc. in water. Sour. Objective. Having a sharp taste. Not sweet. South. Noun. One of the four points of the compass. The direction that is on your right when you face the rising sun. Space. Noun. One. The universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Two. An empty or open area. Spaceship. Noun. A vehicle that can travel in space. Spade. Noun. A tool for digging with. A kind of shovel. Spaghetti. Noun. Long strings of pasta. Sparrow. Noun. A very common small brown bird. Speak. Verb. Spoke. Spoken. To talk. To say things. Special. Adjective. Not ordinary. She is special. Speed. Noun. How quickly something moves. Moving at the speed of light. Spell. Verb. Spelt or spelled. To put the letters in a word in the right order. Spelt or spelled. See spell. I spelt the words correctly. Spend. Verb. Spent. One. To pay out money. Two. To pass the time. He liked to spend his time reading. Spent. See spend. They spent all the money. Spice. Noun. A powder or seeds of a plant used to flavor food. Spider. Noun. A small creature with eight legs that usually spins a web. Spill. Verb. Spilt or spilled. To pour something out or over something else without meaning to. Spilt. Or spilled. See spill. Joe sp spilled the milk. Spin. Verb. Spinning. Spun. One. To twist something into a thread. Two. To make something by forming threads. Three. To go round and round very fast. Splash. Verb. To make a liquid scatter in drops 
especially so that it makes someone or something wet. Spoil, verb, spoiled or spoiled. One, to ruin. Two, to make a child selfish. You spoil him. Spoiled or spoiled. See spoil. The bad weather spoiled our holiday. Spoke, spoken. See speak. Angela spoke to the man in German. Spooky, adjective. Spookier, spookiest. Something that is strange and frightening. The old house felt really spooky. Sponge, now. One, something you wash with that soaks up water. Two, a light cake. Spoon, now. A tool you use to stir, serve, and eat food. Sport, now. Games, activities, etc. that you do for pleasure. Spot, now. One, a small round mark, a dot. Two, a pimple. Three, a particular place. Spray, verb, to scatter liquid in lots of small drops. We use the hose to spray water all over the garden. Spread, verb, spread. One, to lay something out flat. We spread the blanket on the ground. Two, to thinly cover a surface with something. Spread butter on your toast. Three, to move out over a wider area. News of the disaster spread very quickly. Did you know space? In the 1950s and 1960s, Russia and the USA tried to rival each other's achievements in space. They hoped to prove that their nation was the most advanced. In 1957, Russia took the lead by launching the first satellite and, in 1961, the first manned space flight. But in 1969, the USA won the space race by landing the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong. Did you know? Spell. Test your spelling. Which is the correct spelling? February or February? Forty or forty? Friend or friend? Library or library? Niece or night? Nice. Look these words up in this dictionary to find the answers. Spring. Noun. The season of the year that comes after winter and before summer. Spun. See spin. The wheel spun fast. Square. Noun. One. A shape with four equal sides. Two. An open space in a town or city surrounded by buildings. Squash. Noun. One. Lots of people crowded into a small space. 2. A fruit drink. 3. A racket game for 2 or 4 players. Squash. Verb. To crush or squeeze. Julia squashed the cans for recycling. Squeak. Verb. To make a short, high-pitched noise. Squeeze. Verb. Squeezing. Squeezed. To press the sides of something together, usually to get liquid out of it or to force it into a smaller space. Squall, noun, a small animal that has a bushy tail and which climbs trees. Stable, noun, a building in which horses are kept. Stages, stage, noun, one, raised platform on which actors perform. Two, a point in the development of someone or something. Stairs, plural now, a series of steps in a building that lead from one floor to the next. Stamp, now, one, a small piece of paper that you must stick onto a letter before you post it. Two, a small device that prints 
words or signs on paper, stamp, verb, one, to hit the ground with your foot, two, to print a mark with a stamp, three, to put a postage stamp on an envelope, stand, verb, stood to be upright on your feet, star, noun, one, one of the small bright points of light you can see in the sky at night. Two, a shape with five or six points. Three, a famous entertainer. Stare, verb, staring, stared, to look at someone or something for a long time without blinking. I stared at the picture on the wall. Start, verb, to begin. I always start my exercise class with some stretches. Station, noun, one, a building on a railway or bus route where you begin or end the journey. Two, a building that is a center for a particular service. A fire station, stay, verb, one, to stop and remain, two, to be a guest. We stayed in a hotel for the weekend. Steal, verb, stole, stolen. To take something that belongs to someone else without their permission. Steam, noun, the gas produced when water boils. Steep, adjective, rising or falling sharply. Stem, noun, the part of a plant above the ground on which the leaves and flowers grow. Step. Now. One. The act of putting one foot in front of the other when you are walking. Two. A flat surface that you put your foot on to go up or down to a different level. Three. One of a series of actions you take when making or doing something. Four, steps, a step ladder. One, that is hinged so that it stands up by itself. Stepmother, father. Now, the person who your father, mother has remarried. Stick, now, one, a long thin piece of wood. Two, a thin piece of anything. A stick of rock. Stick, verb, stuck, to fix together with glue. Still, adjective, not moving. Sting, noun, one, the part of an insect's body that it uses as a weapon. Two, the painful wound caused by the poison from an insect's sting. Sting, verb, stung, to cause a painful wound in swelling in a part of your body. Stir, verb, stirring, stirred, to mix something by moving it round with something such as a spoon. Stocking, now, a piece of woman's clothing that fits over the foot and leg. Stole, stolen, see steal, the thief stole the jewels. Stomach, noun, the part inside your body where your food is di digested. Stone, noun, one, a piece of rock. Two, the hard seed inside some fruits such as cherries or peaches. Three, a measurement of weight equal to 14 pounds or 6.35 kilograms. Stood, see stand, the children stood up. Stool, noun, seat with three or four legs but no back or arms. Stop, verb, stopping, stopped. One, to come to a standstill. Two, to prevent, store. Now, one, a collection of things for future use. Two, a place to keep things. Three, a large shop. Store, 
verb storing stored to put something away for future use did you know star there are billions of stars scattered through space stars look small because they are far away but most are gigantic glowing balls of gas they burn from between a few million to tens of billions of years did you know stamp the first postage stamp was the penny black which appeared in Britain for the first time in 1840 it showed a portrait of Queen Victoria on a black background and cost one penny storm noun bad weather usually with thunder lightning and heavy rain story noun plural stories an account of something real or imaginary straight one in a straight line two directly go straight there straight adjective not bent straight hair strange adjective unusual odd a strange taste straw noun one the dried stems of plants like wheat that are used for animal bedding or for making mats and baskets. 2. A thin tube that you suck a drink through. Strawberry. Noun. Plural strawberries. A soft, juicy red fruit. Stream. Noun. A small, narrow river. There are tadpoles in the stream. Street. Noun. Road in a town or village with houses along it. Hike Street. Strength. Noun. Power. Energy. Superhuman strength. Stretch. Verb. One. To make something bigger by pulling it. Two. To reach out. Three. To hold your arms and legs out straight and tighten your muscles. Strict, adjective, severe in matters of discipline and rules of behavior. String, noun, one, strong thread used for tying things. Two, one of the wires or threads stretched over a musical instrument. Tennis racket, etc. Strip, noun, a long narrow piece of land, cloth, etc. Stripe, noun, one band of color in between others. Strong, adjective, powerful, not easy to break. Stuck, see stick, the pieces of the aircraft kit were stuck together. Study, verb, studying, studied, to spend your time learning about a subject. Stone, see sting. I was stung by a wasp. Submarine. Noun. A type of ship that can travel underwater. Subtract. Verb. To take away a number or amount from a larger number or amount. Subway. Noun. A path of, for you to walk on that goes underneath a busy road. Such. One. So much. We're such good friends. Two, like, people such as you and me. Suck, verb. One, to draw in liquid or air. Two, to eat something by melting it in your mouth as you move it round with your tongue. Suck an ice lolly. Suddenly, happening, very quickly and unexpectedly. Sugar, noun, a sweetener for food and drinks. Suit, noun, a set of matching clothes. Trouser, suit. Suitcase, noun, a case for carrying your belongings in when you are traveling. Sum, noun, an exercise in simple arithmetic. Summer, Noun, the season of the year that comes after spring and before autumn. Sun, 
noun, the bright star that gives heat and light to, during the day. The earth goes round the sun and that gives us heat and light. Sunday, noun, the day of the week before Monday. Sunflower, noun, a plant that can grow to be very tall. It has a very large flower with yellow petals. Song, see sing. The songs were sung well by the children. Sunk, see sink. The Titanic was sunk by an iceberg. Sunny, adjective, sunnier, sunniest, brightly lit by the sun. It was a sunny day. Sunrise, noun, the rising of the sun at the beginning of the day. Dawn, sunset, noun, the going down of the sun at the end of the day. Supermarket, noun, a large self-service shop which sells lots of different foods and other goods. Supper, noun, the last meal of the day. Sure, adjective, without doubt, certain. Surface, noun, the, the outside or top of something. Surgery, noun, plural surgeries, the place where doctors or dentists see their patients. Did you know suffix? A suffix is a group of letters that you add to the end of a word to make a new word. For example, li is added to many adjectives to make adverbs. For example, Soft, softly. Other examples, full, meaning full of. Joy, joyful. Ness, to make a noun. Kind, kindness. See also prefix. Did you know sun? The sun is a middle-aged star. It is thought that it was formed 5 billion years ago. It is the center of our solar system and is said to weigh just under 2,000 trillion trillion tons. Surprise, noun, an unexpected event. Surprise party. Swallow, noun, an insect eating bird with a forked tail. Swallows on the telegraph wires. Swallow, verb, to make food pass from your mouth down your throat. Swam, see swim. I swam three lengths. Swamp, noun, waterlogged land, a bog or marsh. Swamp, verb, to overwhelm. Flood, the radio station was swamped with complaints. Swan, noun, a large, usually white bird with a long neck that lives on rivers and lakes. Swap, noun, something given in exchange for something else. This stamp is a swap. Swap, verb, swapping, swapped, to exchange one thing for another. He swapped his football for a cricket bat. Swat, verb, swatting, swatted, to hit with a sharp blow. He swatted the fly with a newspaper, but missed. Sway, verb, one, to lean in one direction and then another. He swayed from side to side. Two, to be uncertain. Sweater, noun, a woolen garment for the top part of your body, a pullover. Sweep, verb, swept, to brush clean. Dan swept the leaves from the path. Sweet, adjective, one, sugary to the taste. The tea tasted sweet. Two, kind and pleasant. She is very sweet. Sweet, noun, a small, sweet, sugary item to eat, such as a toffee, chocolate, or mint. Sweet pea, noun, a climbing plant which often has sweet-smelling flowers. Swell, verb, swells, swelled, swollen, 
to grow larger, to expand, he swelled with pride. Swell, noun, one, the process of swelling, two, the rise and fall of the sea surface. Swelling, noun, a part of the body that has swollen, there was a swelling on his neck. Swept, see sweet, I swept the floor. Swim, verb, swimming, swam, swum, to travel through water by moving your arms and legs. I go swimming every Monday evening. Swimming costume, noun, a tight-fitting garment that women and girls wear when they go swimming. Swimming pool, noun, a pool made for people to swim in. Swimming trunks, noun, the shorts that men and boys wear when they swim. Swing, noun, a seat hanging from ropes or chains that you can sit on and swing. Swing, verb, swung, to repeatedly move backwards and forwards or from side to side from a fixed point. Switch, noun, a control for turning electricity on and off. Swivel, swivels, swiveling, swiveled, verb, to turn around, round, I swiveled in amazement. Swoop, verb, to come down with a rush. The eagle swooped on its prey. Sword, Noun, weapon with a handle and long, sharp blade. Swordfish. Noun, a large sea fish with a long upper jaw that looks like a sword. Swum, sea swim. Three people have swum the channel. Swung, sea swing. The soldiers swung their arms as they marched. Inch. Noun, Instrument for injecting liquids into the body. Syringe. Verb. To clean with a syringe. I had my ears syringed. Syrup. Noun. A thick, sweet liquid. Golden syrup. Syrupy. Adjective. Very sweet, like syrup. Did you know swans? There are seven different species of swans. Four of these species live in the northern hemisphere and have white feathers over their entire bodies. The other three species are found in the southern hemisphere and have some black feathers. Swans are among the heaviest birds able to fly, but they need a long, clear stretch of water to take off. Did you know syllable? A syllable is a part of a word which contains a single vowel sound and, and is said as a unit. The vowel sound may be spelt with more than one letter. A syllable may contain one or more consonant sounds. The words in the following examples are divided into syllables. Book, head, quickly. Cardigan, information. Did you know synonym? A synonym is a word that has a very similar meaning to another word. For example, weak, feeble, little, small, strong, powerful. See also antonym.